Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be showcasing the plugin titled PetBlox by Shin Ixen. PetBlox is a plugin that allows you to use blocks and custom heads as your pets in Minecraft. This is honestly one of the most configurable pet plugins I've ever seen and even has support for adding in AIs to individual pets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So the base command for this plugin is going to be slash pet block or slash pet blocks. Doing pet blocks pretty much gives you like the command version of the plugin. I like doing pet block on it on its own because that gives you a nice GUI menu for everything. So in pet blocks, the first thing you can see is pet customization, which allows you to change the appearance of your pet. This is organized into a few nice categories such as simple block costumes color block costumes, player head costumes, head database costumes, and for those of you guys who are unaware, head database is the largest heads like repository plugin on Spigot, so you actually have access to all the heads from that plugin if you have it on your server to use as pets. There are also plushie costumes, vehicle costumes, and pet costumes. So we can just go ahead and flip through a few of these and you know there's just quite a nice variety for all of these and every single category is just filled to the brim with just endless opportunities we could go ahead and load in this five nights at freddy's costume because why not we could go ahead and flip through uh something really large like heads database as you guys can see there's 27,000 heads total and you can pick from any of these so again that is just extremely extremely extensive you can also suggest heads as well and even use specific player skins as heads as well. Here pretty much just gives you basic information about the pet such as the name and current active head. You can also view the inventory of your pet as well. There are two inventories, a main equipment and a secondary equipment. If we were to go inside here, we actually have full access to sort of a little backpack. And as you guys can see, it even stores the MVT data of anything that we put inside of this inventory. If we were to go into the second inventory, you can see we have more stuff stored in. We could take things in and out, just as simple as going in and out of a chest. Now doing pet block again, we get some other cool stuff like pet particles. Currently, we have the red dust particles. If we just click here, the particles get removed right away. We could go ahead and add in another type of particle. The diamond particle is pretty cool. As you guys can see, whether you are walking or not, even if the pet is standing still, the particles will remain active. So that all in all is really cool. Hat pet is nice as well. It's pretty much just like you get to wear your pet on your hat and doing left shift will go ahead and undo it for you. Next up we have cannon pet. For this one I'm going to go switch my view and you'll see why in a second we do cannon pet and the pet just gets shot out quite a distance. It is actually a lot of fun especially if someone else has a pet and you guys just get to shoot the pet around. If your pet gets stuck anywhere, you could just use call pet and that teleports your pet to you. Uh, sometimes, you know, it could get stuck in water or something. Clicking this allows you to enable or disable your pet. And you can ride pet using this. Certain pets, such as the bat pet, actually have options for flying, which is really, really cool. So here's us jumping around while riding our pet. As you guys can see, it goes quite a bit faster than just walking, so uh, it can actually be quite the flex for transportation in my opinion. Next up, we have pet settings. So within pet settings, you could go ahead and rename your pet. To do that, you're just gonna click to rename your pet and we could call it anything. We could call it FNAF for the Five Nights at Freddy's series. And as you guys can see, as soon as we did it, it already got updated. You can also mute and unmute your pet in case you know you want to hear the noises of your pet. We got pet effects. These are actually really cool. You can give yourself strength and speed. 
Um, so as you guys can see, if we're just chilling around here, the pet will zap us with effects every once in a while. Green stands for speed and the red stands for strength. As long as the pet is around you while the effects are active, then you will receive the effects. So that is super cool and it adds a very nice survival component to everything. And here you can just enable and disable particles for your pet. If you are to disable the particles for your pet, you will still get the effects, but you will no longer see the beams flying towards you as that is technically a particle. So yeah guys, that was me showcasing the Pet Blocks plugin. I'll leave a link to download this down in the description below. I think it's a super fun and cool plugin for any server. I'll also leave the IP to my server Barbercraft down in the description below. Thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you guys later. Peace.